Five minutes into drug court, my friend overdosed. Everyone just stood there. My friend and I were yelling to call an ambulance. We were the only ones who knew what to do. And then he was sent to jail for something he couldn't control in the first place, according to them. Drug court is a program that addresses medical issues in a criminal way. I tried my hardest to see the good in the program. They seemed to want us to do better. The judges seemed to care, but that didn't overshadow the multitude of bad things. Initially, I felt hope. At the beginning, I felt good. My probation officer was a sadistic and controlling person. She micromanaged the clothes I wore, the food I ate, the money I spent, and the drugs I could take. When my doctor gave me meds that my PO didn't want me to take, she lied and said I failed a drug test for meth. The only reason I did not go to jail was because another RO told the truth. Drug court has an all-star list. If you follow the program without getting in trouble, you're put on the list. I was on it every week. But then I showed up to court and they told me I was doing too good. The court told me they never had a participant go without getting in trouble. Apparently even they don't believe anyone can follow their rules. The next week, a friend gave me a mannequin head he had found at work. The next week at court, the judge told me I was in trouble from getting a ride from someone. My PO then said I was actually in trouble for receiving a mannequin head from someone because it might have had drugs in it. My fate in drug court came down to a mannequin and too many gold stars. I felt empty and defeated after graduating drug court. Sure, I graduated with basically flying colors despite my mannequin head, but I still felt empty. You're supposed to feel happy after completing something so challenging. You're supposed to feel empowered, but I didn't. I felt low and defeated. I was hoping that drug court would magically transform me into someone else, but it didn't. I still had to tell every potential employer that I was a felon. I still couldn't vote, and I still could never go hunting again. I felt like someone that is dirty or used goods. I felt like someone that couldn't be normal like everyone else. I tried my hardest to play the part and fit the narrative, but the life drug court wanted for me wasn't the life I wanted. Drug court made me believe that the only way I can survive in this world is to attend weekly meetings and profess my weaknesses. I was told I'm powerless and diseased forever, but I am not.